Today is the last day of training. How do you feel? Yang pernah tanya so, kerja datang kau lagi ya, si. Hi friends, so this week is an exciting week for me because I am going to teach a dance class with my instructor. Right now I'm on the way to uh, meet him and train for the first time and we only have like five days to finish so I'm a bit nervous but excited at the same time. I don't know how it's gonna turn out but we'll see, we'll see. I thought I'd just vlog my experience and you know just to look back on this one day and hopefully be proud of myself. <laughs> so my instructor Faris Azim did this initiative to collaborate with his students for him to learn as well as for the students to learn as well so I think it's a good thing and I am glad that I got chosen. <laughs> After a round of auditioning I bought a so right now I'll be put to the actual test. So today is the day of the collab and I am excited. I think it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Um, basically we trained for about like seven hours in total. So it was Sunday, three hours, Wednesday, two hours, Thursday, two hours, and then now it's Friday. Ah, I'd say like the process was really smooth. I'm very surprised, but yeah, we'll see how it goes tonight. I am so excited. <laughs> So I just want to quickly say how grateful I am for the collab. It really made me realize something that I kind of enjoy teaching dance. It's such a satisfying feeling seeing people doing your choreo. Now I can really understand that pleasure the instructors have when they teach class. It's amazing like just to see your friends doing your choreo that you come up with. It's a nice feeling. So yeah, that Friday was a full class because during this COVID situation, per class is just like 12 people. So I'm really happy that my friends supported us and it was a bit daunting to teach to my friends, especially like some of them are actual teachers. <laughs> but I remember I didn't feel very nervous, I think because I have the um, support from Faris Azim as well, that I'm doing it with another person, so it's not just the pressure on me. I guess when you show something that you've worked hard on for some time, it really does feel like it paid off. I really enjoyed the process as well of creating the choreo with Azim. I thought there might be bumps, but I don't know, I guess we're just very um, matured and keen to develop the choreo and in my head like I had this story of the, the song is about loving somebody but afraid that you'd hurt them or or you know that you will hurt them when you love them something like that so I just wanted the piece to showcase that emotion I think the choreo itself it wasn't very difficult um, I just wanted it to be pretty chill I guess more on the lyrics I'm a very lyrical person as I've realized over the months and what I learned from Azim is that is to not waste kind of like empty spaces in a way and just keep exploring more like keep finding out what else you can put into the beat itself because before this like I think my choreo is pretty simple pretty straightforward but with Azim's input it 
becomes like quite intricate and it just it looks better <laughs> and for this class like there's an extension class um, on the following Tuesday Azim and I were meant to teach on that day but um, because of the CMCO um, basically we are back on conditional movement control order so studios had to close literally the day after that Tuesday so on Wednesday so because of you know everything has to close by 12 a.m. His other obligation after the class had to be brought forward a bit earlier so in the end I just conducted the class myself. I honestly didn't feel nervous at all. Like I think the pressure is off now once I've already experienced the first class so I just focused on just teaching the choreo. I think I did pretty well if I say so myself and at that moment I realized like it's quite fun teaching people. I always thought that I'm not a great teacher, like I don't teach at all. But with that opportunity, I realized, hey, this is something I could potentially do in the future. This is something I could cultivate and improve on. What I liked about the class, like both of the classes, is that Azim was so open to my idea of doing a short meditation session at the end. So that was nice. I get to like end it with pretty calm vibes. I feel that is so me. Yeah, just like being in touch with your spiritual self and also your higher self and God and the universe and all that and in a way be humble and grounded at the same time. So yeah, overall it's just such a good experience. I'm very grateful. I'm very happy. I don't know when's the next time that I will teach, but I'll still keep creating choreos to the best of my ability. Thank you Azim for guiding me and thank you to my friends who attended class. I really appreciate you all. Mwah. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.